Yeah, thanks, Chaz. You know, I think there is a lot of emerging interest in manufacturing proteins with multiple non-canonical amino acids, wondering, for example, could they be used in everything from antibody drug conjugates to allow for novel therapeutic modalities to could you actually modify the types of polymers that the ribosome synthesizes to create best-in-class therapeutics, peptidomimetics, and others in this space. I think that cell-free systems are really well poised to have an impact there. Um, you know, our research group has done quite a bit of work around using and, and trying to ask what are the constraints of an RNA-based active site in the ribosome. So the ribosome, as we know, produces many types of alpha-based amino acid polymers, we call them proteins. And there really has been this long-standing curiosity around, could we use the ribosome to make more kind of what we call peptidomimetic drugs? Peptides that are you know, not necessarily made of all alpha amino acids, but made of beta amino acids or beta cyclic amino acids or gamma cyclic amino acids that would give new types of peptide turn chemistries and perhaps allow both stability, but also novel structures of the peptides and proteins that could be synthesized to enable new classes of therapeutics. And so when I look to the future, I do see this as an emerging opportunity in the field of cell-free systems and beyond, because you could imagine using engineered ribosomes, for example, to efficiently polymerize non-alpha-based peptides, polymers, protein therapeutics, um, that could be new classes of, of therapies, long-lived perhaps, ones that have um, you know, particular pharmacodynamics or pharmacokinetics that one is interested in. Um, and I do this, see this as a space to come, especially because cell-free systems get to bypass a lot of the constraints around cell viability that might otherwise challenge using many uh, non-canonical chemistries in a single polymer product. That said, there's still work to be done. So um, I think although that, you know, I think it's an exciting area in the future, I still think it's, you know, not just one year out.